Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Witness. Today we're gonna take a look at portable computers or laptops, specifically how to buy them. Why do you want to buy a laptop? There are very simple reasons for that. First, it's all in one. So basically everything you see, monitor, keyboard, mouse, CPU, all in one. And it's portable, you can carry it around. And it is powerful enough nowadays for almost every task. However, price to performance ratio is still not that good. However, it's powerful enough. If you have enough money, you can buy a laptop that can almost practically replace your desktop in terms of computation power. It's just gonna be two to three times more expensive. So suffice to say, as of now, laptops are becoming quite useful. Now, there are main factors when you are buying laptop. These two laptops I'm showing you are at the extreme end. So basically they are uh, scale from one end of the scale you have portability basically very light thin and light ultra weight ultra light these sort of thing and on the other end you have performance basically they will use desktop cpu full desktop grid graphics card like um, sli have actually two graphics card and all, all those things have like you know 120 hertz display and so there are factors and you can't have it all. Basically, let's say you want a desktop replacement laptop. Basically, you are tired of your desktop and you have to move around and you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy a desktop replacement. You will be more towards this end. And let's say all you want to do actually do is watch YouTube videos, do light browsing, and you don't actually need to work on it. You will come more towards this side, basically ultra, ultra light. Nowadays, they can even come with a battery life of eight to nine hours. This, on the other hand, can barely give you 20 minutes. And uh, some laptop, what they do is disable dedicated graphics card. And you, uh, by that method, they can give you around two to three hours. So there's a compromise. So you have to know where you are. Like, do you need portability or do you need more performance? That's up to you. This is the first thing you have to decide. And uh, let's say you made up your mind and you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy a performance-based laptop. So there are these many brands, as you can see, Lenovo, Asus, HP, LG, Dell. So how do you make a decision among these? Well, very simple. All these things affect its affordability because uh, same configuration in HP is one product versus on Dell. Second, availability. Let's say in your uh, country or uh, in your district, Lenovo is just does not have any you know stores where you're gonna buy them and reliability now this is a very crucial part laptops are quite expensive device even a cheap laptop is quite expensive and given the fact that many people use it as a primary means of you know communication and job sometimes you really want to make sure you have reliability now the if you put all these three things you can easily narrow down your search after that we come to pay attention to the fine print now this is very crucial for laptop and you have to understand that all laptops uh, may not include on-site warranty what does that mean let's say you are uh, you bought your laptop in a metro city you went to your uh, you know small city for summer job and your laptop broke down you call them and they are like no sir you have to bring your laptop to our service center that's not on-site so please make sure whether you have on-site warranty or not or do they even allow you to buy on-site warranty because sometimes alienware because their laptops are so expensive they will remove these sort of features and they will ask you if you pay us this amount of money we'll give you on-site warranty or we'll give you a 24 hour warranty basically they don't care they will try to send you a mechanic as quickly as possible and can you buy extra warranties like generally laptops come with only 12 months of warranty dell uh, allows you to buy extra warranty lg also allows you in even asus so these sort of thing tells you how confident the company that made it is at the product and you really don't want to buy a laptop every two three years like it's not smartphones so please invest in these sort of thing and this will give you a peace of mind and some uh, manufacturer including dell and alienware they also cover a lot of damage basically the uh, premium that you have to pay once one time payment for the warranty may also include water damage so basically let's say you you were carrying your laptop and like you know it started raining and laptop got so they will take care of it not like of course if you drowned your laptop they're gonna be like dude that's you have to be within reason however these sort of thing please pay attention to it very crucial thing now we come to 
ports now these are quite easily most neglected part and this will become your uh, big hassle if you want to upgrade your things now a laptop nowadays comes with a lot of things inside it so there are few components that you can use or upgrade first is ram as you can see now be mindful not every laptop actually has two slots some have one so please check for specifically if it's designed for portable or it's too cheap so please be mindful of that and if let's say you find there is only one slot make sure you upgrade it right away as in like buy an upgraded one because uh, those laptop memories are not cheap on the open market and then you have to find uh, what kind of hard drive it accepts like uh, and then uh, this is a very crucial part if you are dealing with laptops sometimes uh, laptop manufacturers will say okay this asus laptop comes with ssd however when you buy in your region the ssd was not there this could happen that's why please pay attention to this sort of ports and things like that and these are very fine print detail you have to like dive into it to figure out so you can also have a m.2 port basically but again even if it has an m.2 port you have to make sure whether it's a sata port or nvme basically nvme is better just go with it nvme basically allows you know higher throughput and uh, sometimes uh, you can find a laptop that in this slot they will give you intel opt-in module now it is a ssd yes but it will not store any data all it is is a cache memory so more laptop you use the faster it gets because it's storing all the cache memory however it's not ssd so please be mindful of these things so do you have m dot data port do you have nvme or uh, nvme port yes or no do you have normal hard drive port which are generally removed from ultra thin uh, laptops so be mindful of these sort of things and ports generally people uh, kind of neglect it however it's quite important especially if you want to do something with it let's say you only got usb 2.0 port and you are like me you are doing videography you want to upload your memory card quickly to your laptop however the card slots that are generally built in is usb 2.0 most of the time not all but most of the time so you want to buy okay i'm gonna buy a you know usb 3.0 reader here's the deal your laptop did not have port for it or there was a port that you already used for something else so in this sort of scenario you can understand you will be frustrated so please pay attention to these sort of things so this was my presentation to help you guide and how to make a decision about purchasing a laptop i hope you like my presentation if you liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't dislike leave a comment and please subscribe i make video every day and as always thanks for watching